You guys know the map making kit, right? Well, it just got awesome. <laughs> Cam73 and Dripperonis have created a masterpiece. This new map making kit includes so much cool functions and features and new game mechanics. This is going to help new developers develop their maps and understand more. This is great for Flood Escape 2 and I'm excited for the future. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the new kit and showing you guys the new game mechanics. If you find this video helpful at all throughout the video, you have to like and sub. Let's get into it. Hey guys, we're in Flood Escape 2 community maps. There's a new there's a new noise when I click. I repeat, there's a new sound effect. Listen to this. Um epic noise update. But let's see, if we look at the maps, we got FE2CM map making kit 2024. Let's play it right now. I'm so excited. This is going to be the greatest moment of my life. Yo, FE2CM map making kit 2024. Builders, your bonus and Cam 73. Let's go. Let's take a look. We got the zip lines. We got normal speed zip line. And then we got velocity inheritance. So this is the zip line that launches you. Yo, and then we got... Speedy zip lines, nice 120 speed. That's awesome. I think you can probably adjust these settings in Roblox Studio. That's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the agility. We got all the normal stuff, of course. But look at this spinning and moving wall jumps. This is crazy, bro. Oh my goodness. Now that this is in the map making kit, maps will utilize this more. And it's going to be am amazing. Yo, this is great. Of course, we got the variants. So, uh, this has a one in third chance of spawning, or the bench, or the statue. We got the boxes this time, of course. And then, okay, we got the new button UI. Honestly, I think the button UI looks clean. I think it looks good. I don't know about y'all, but I like the new button UIs. It's pretty sweet. Oh, we got the fuse button, aka exploding button. Of course, of course, we got three escapee spots. Rescuing Melissica. Come on, Melissica, let's go. <laughs> of course, that little freak is up there. We can't, this guy, we can't escape this guy. You know I had to do it to him. This freak. Unbelievable. I'm gonna die. Alright, now let's take a look at the water states. This is exciting. Okay, of course, we got the water, lava, acid. But this is one of the new game mechanics that was recently added. No swim. If you are unaware, there is a uh, map or there's like a leak online on the full escape to wiki where crazy box is escaping like um cave map but like he's in water and he's like jumping in the water this is like before flood escape 2 was released i think this is what that's based on and uh it's it's finally added so that's pretty interesting no swim as you can see we're in the water but we can jump out very strange no air loss water regain air okay Depth multiplier, this is another new feature. So pretty much the lower we go in the water, the more air we'll lose. So let's grab an air bubble to demonstrate. Also air bubbles have the amount of air that they, you can you can adjust the amount of air air bubbles give you. So this is the max right here, 900. That's the max amount of air you can get. So let's go into the depth multiplier. Look at, farther down I'm going, I'm losing air. Um, here's a better example. Depth multiplier plus no swim. There's an evil monster back there. So if we go in here, and go farther back. Oh my god, the evil monster killed me! Let's take a look at the timelines and keyframes. Yeah, this is lit. So the bu the buttons are kind of like floor skip one. That's kind of cool. So if we click it, move part. This demonstrates the move parts. We got local space, easing type. Um, I'm not I'm not a genius. I don't know what any of this means. I'm assuming easing type makes it slow and fast. And the local space is... It just goes and then comes back. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. Set water state. Don't change color. Yeah, that's so helpful. Specified color, purple. Set water state, green. Whoa. And then here's set properties. Just changes the properties. And then this is with tween. So it's got that transition. Set properties, lighting. It's nighttime. Blur. Help. I can't see. Help me. Okay. Set property sound. Ah! Wow. Custom GUI. We got shake camera and shake camera local. That's pretty self-explanatory. Alert. Melissa Co. is here. 
Only you can see this. That's a little creepy. Sound. Oh my god, we're getting trolled right now. Sound global. Oh wait, no, sound global plus part, so the sound comes from the part. Okay. LOL. Over here we have some more set humanoid. Examples are local. Okay. So we can set humanoids to jump. I'm not clicking the space bar. That's a kill break. I'm not going to touch that. Health. Gives you health, I guess. Max slope angle. So I guess this can adjust what the angles you can jump on or something. I don't know, bro. I'm not smart enough for this. Set. Set walk speed. Easy. That's pretty self-explanatory. Jump power. Wee, wee, wee. Operator plus conditional. Guys, if you know what any of this means, like and sub right now. Press to increase the size. Whoa. Central mass away. Central mass away. Set properties operator plus. Also demonstrates applied to descendants. Counterparts. Stores total presses inside an attribute. This is the conditional. Um, resets orb size and counterpart if pressed three times. Whoa. Teleport, of course. Pretty self explanatory there. And then we got the set camera. Set camera, look at player. Whoa. Whoa. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look at part. Um, so I guess it's looking at this part. Oh, there's like little security cameras. That's pretty neat. Look at moving part. You're looking at the moving part. Whoa. Guys, this is crazy. And then relative to player. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog here on the Fopdoodle channel. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the new map making kit. It's pretty lit. This will hopefully help developers develop their maps in Floodscape 2. Um, and understand timelines better because it is a confusing system. But now that everything is laid out in a nice uh, map here, developers should be able to implement these in their maps and... This is an overall win because the last map, the previous map making kit, uh, I'm not gonna lie, bro, that's that was kind of bad. It, no, I wouldn't, I shouldn't say bad. It was, it's um, what's the word? Hold on, let me think. Out of date, yeah, out of date, or like it's not, it's not relevant. <laughs> Flood Escape Two is advanced, and there's a lot of new things and stuff that need to be uh, readily available to developers. So yeah, this is good. W, fat W, guys. You know I had to do it to him. You know, you had to like and sub. You know, you had to like and sub. So that was the new map making kit. Go check it out. Go use it. Link is in the description to download it. Um, make maps with it, guys. That's all for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Adios.